Hey yo together and very welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown! And today, if I'm not mistaken, I will start to do all the autopsies. So this might be a very boring episode, probably, but it has to be done. Yep, so let's do this, let's do all the autopsies. Okay. The torn one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Okay. The subject's external appearance is that of a Caucasian male, I would guess its age would be approximately 35 years old. Although it's quite likely this is an artificial effect intentionally affixed by the aliens. The specimen is roughly 2 meters in height, wow, and weighs just over 80 kilograms. Despite its outward appearance upon dissection, the creature's unique organ and bone structures reveal to be distinctly alien in nature. The subject's bones are segmented rather like the vertebrae of a serpent. Wow, I don't know those words. Uh, the segmented structure appears to give the creature a spe spectacular range of motion in combat. Yeah, we saw that. Improved medkit project available in Oh, that's not bad. That. A large proportion of the specimen's thoracic cavity. Wow, those words, man, is devoted to enormous glands capable of producing a toxin that is then expelled via ducts within considerable force. After a thorough chemical analysis of the subject's venom, we've theorized that it could be used to as a powerful disinfectant to treat our soldiers' injuries in the field. Okay. Dr. Shen is working on development on the is working to develop a means to integrate this substance into our existing medkits for future deployment. Targeting another example of this specimen in the field, using the unit analysis, you may reveal further details about its distinctive combat abilities. Medkit improving! Woo! Okay, Newton autopsy. Oh wait, let's do the... the chrysalid first. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, yeah. we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Yeah. So gross. Chitin plating available, okay. Even after years of research and study until now, I had never encountered something that is quite as beautiful yet equally as deadly as this species. Unlike the other aliens we've encountered thus far, it is arthropodal in nature, plated in a sleek black exoskeleton. The chrysalids, as we are calling them based on their reproductive habits, measure over 3 meters wow, long from nose to tail and stand almost 2 meters high when perched on their hind legs. The attack is not only extremely deadly but also necessary for their reproduction as the intended victim is not immediately killed but instead turned into what can only be described as a mindless shell akin to a zombie which serves as a host to its offspring. I guess we already saw that. Now, when a human is bitten, an embryo is injected into the host and immediately begins to gestate. Blech. Once gestation is complete, which remarkably lasts only minutes, a newborn chrysalid will emerge, destroying its host in the process. One can only wonder why this alien would utilize what appears to be a savage, unpredictable creature. In any case, this is certainly not a creature to be trifled with and our troops would do well to exercise extreme caution when engaging the species. Targeting another example in the field though, through the unit analysis view may provide additional information as to its combat capabilities. That's good, that's very helpful. Chitin, chitin plating, okay. Mutant autopsy, let's go. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which uh. the troops fondly refer to as the muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Yeah. Hurrah. Ammo conservation project. That is very important. I was wondering when I will get that one. It's that, that means I don't need to reload that often if I get this. 
this project done. That's very helpful. Standing well over 2 meters tall, the ratio of this subject's lean muscle to the rest of its body mass is staggering. Uh, its bones are highly durable yet very light in weight. Wow. And it seems to lack extra muscular fatty tissue of any kind. Okay. There's no part of the subject that has not been genetically engineered for combat. These mutants, a moniker given by the troops, have clearly been bred and modified from birth, which every enhancement contributing to his function as a sort of organic tank. As such, the mutants are capable of withstanding otherworldly amounts of damage and seem to have an incredible tolerance of pain. During the autopsy we also noticed noted a variety of ritualistic markings and unusual tattoos which imply some sort of past tribal structure among the mutant species. We've also noticed a number of distinct similarities between the genetic structure of the mutant and floater specimens. Okay. Although I only I can only guess as to the aliens' intentions, it certainly appears that the floaters may have at one time been mutants themselves. Wow, okay. If the aliens have been experimenting with the mutant physiology, physiology perhaps the floaters are a byproduct of their less successful attempts at genetic manipulation. Wow, that's scary. We may be able to gain further insights of the creature's combat capa capabilities by telling another example in the field in the unit analysis. So, two more to go for now. Cyber disk autopsy. We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. At the present time, we know that the cyber disk, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed, but it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. Yeah, I saw that as well. UFO tracking boost available. Okay. So far, we've been unable to a certain whether this is strictly a mechanical creation or a living organism based on our findings and as an alternative biochemical system based on the silicon atom okay uh, like carbon silicon can create molecules that are sufficiently large to carry biological information and since silicon has several chemical pro properties similar to carbon it is possible this could be a new and completely alien life form which was with respect to the specimens we've already encountered. Its internal mechanisms seem to operate like organs, giving it the ability to circulate plasma through its core systems, much in the same way blood flows through our bodies. Our uh, unit analysis view available on the field should provide additional specifics regarding the species' various combat abilities. And then the Berserker autopsy, and for the rest I don't have enough weapon fragments, which is really a shame, but okay. The men are calling this beast the Berserker, although it shares the same structure as the Muton. For reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. I wonder why that is. Convict stims available for manufacture. Interesting. Although similar to the previously catalogued mutant species, this particular specimen is different. Our troops have taken to call this beast the Berserker, based on its uncharacteristically aggressive tactics in the field. Despite sharing the same physiological structure of the other mutants for reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust, charging into combat with little regard of its own safety. Current theories as to the cause of its behavior have led us to being to begin investigating possible genetic manipulation of the subject's endocrine glands, or in this case, the equivalent glands that appear to secrete androgenic hormones. Wow, that sentence. That sentence. If the aliens enlarged or modified the action of these glands, it could explain the berserker's outbursts. Specifics on this creature's abilities in combat should be available when using the unit. And that is you on another specimen of the same type in the future. Combat stims. I want to have a look at the combat stims. The circle corpse. This powerful stimulation cocktail derived from chemical found glands of a boost to our soldiers' vital statistics. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I think I try one of these. Maybe that could be. Good, I don't know. We will see. I still wanna have a firestorm, okay, soon. 
so let's scan for activity then or, or let's have a look at the barracks is there anything left no we got lightning oh yeah i wanted to check those look at that lightning ah, da, 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 da. this is lightning and this is goliath and as you can see lightning has the same hp but more defense so that should be not too bad so i will try lightning maybe out as well in the next mission because it's hovering it got a bit more defense so that's not too bad and on dicey missions i could get two goliath with me maybe goliath and lightning so you will see raven ready armed emp ready oh yeah let's have a look at the hunger ready in three days ready laser cannon Phoenix cannon, EMP cannon, laser cannon, laser cannon, repairing 5 days, alright, so let's see. Okay, we got the improved arc thrower. Oh wait a second, I could need to excavate one of these maybe, yeah. I don't have much power left. Ah, does it matter? I don't know. When is the... 18 days. Yeah, I think I got some time. I wanted to see the... No, 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 the foundry. Oh yeah, right, the foundry. Ooh. And we got the improved art thrower. Okay. Uh, advanced flight is nice. Armor conservation. Oh, I need more weapon fragments and more alloys. Shift repair. A smaller unit drone unit. We believe that we could upgrade our arc thrust with the drone's robotic repair belief, allowing also to repair shift units in combat. Ooh, that's interesting. And the improved map kit. Uh, increased by 50% of the healing. Oh, that's. So I definitely need the ammo conservation and the map kit improving. At some point. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, the firestorm is ready. Nice! Okay, so now no UFO should be able to escape us. Never ever again. That's good. Oh look at that beautiful beautiful vehicle aircraft. Oh that's so nice. Ooh. Oh I think we just leveled the playing field. Finally. Okay. We've done some big things here, but I have to admit, my team and I are most proud of the work we put into the firestorm. Yeah. So let's view the fire. Oh yeah. Demon. <laughs> Added loadout. Fusion land. Oh yeah. Let me see the difference. Hit chance 90%, range long, fire rate slow, damage high, armor penetration high. Confirm. Oh, heck yes. So I think, ah, for not for now, but later on, I will put one of those ravens onto another country. Maybe one demon either. I'm not quite sure. Demon is ready. Okay. So we transfer the demon down there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we transfer it down to Africa. Okay. And we can have a, have a whoops. And the Phoenix Cannon. Laser Cannon, Phoenix Cannon, Laser Cannon. EMP laser. Laser Phoenix down there. Okay, that should be good. Okay, a few abduction We're sites. Tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay, India, Mexico, and Japan. India, Thanks to Mexico, the aliens, our engineering and Japan. team has managed to negate billions of dollars in traditional aerospace development with a single ship. Mexico and Japan, India, but I will launch a satellite whatsoever, so it doesn't... Yeah. So I think I will go with 
Japan because of the money. Uh, I have four engineers. How many engineers do I have? 52, which is quite a lot. And if I have a look at the finances, no, that's that's not what I wanted to say and to see. Can't I see how many engineers I will get? Uh, probably not, but it should be enough. Okay, so next next uh, next episode we will do the abduction sites. But for now, I will end this episode here. And then we can start through with Japan to get some money. Alright. Good. So with that... Zed, thank you for watching. Even though it was a bit boring, I guess, but also very informative. Maybe you liked it. I hope so. And yeah, I wish you as always a very nice day and 